It's Valentine's Day. It is. A lot of pressure today. Not for me. It ain't got to be pressure, though. <laughs> People want a big climax at the end of the day, Heather. Hey. Every day. No pun intended. <laughs> Uh, for men, it's like performance anxiety. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. You got we got to plan the day out. Rich nights, you know what I mean. You got to plan the energy it takes to plan the day out, to do the gifts, to do the surprises. Then you got to go to work. Then you got to go have the drinks. Then you got to have the dinner. And then it's nighttime, and you got to deliver the home run. And then you ready to go to bed. <laughs> it's tiring. A lot of performance anxiety. Well, um, we got one of our resident experts here. She's new to Sirius XM, but she's not new to the conversation. Uh, she has a show called Sex with Emily that could be heard every weekday from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern on Sirius XM Stars Channel 109. The one and only Emily Morse is here. Emily! Hey! Huh? Thanks for having me. No, I Emily. walked past her yesterday. I'm like, this is a good time. Oh, this is where you gotta be. <laughs> I gotta be here. You gotta be in here because we got a lot of folks that you know. You you you're a doctor of human sexuality. Yeah. What does that mean? Got like, you got a degree for that? I got a degree for sex, for okay. talking about sex. Okay. Yeah, I studied the way people have sex, why we have sex. So I have a doctorate in studying our sexual behaviors as humans. And you know, I give a lot of therapy on the show too. Like I help people kind of move through different challenges in their relationships or sex lives we don't have any sex education at least not in america to anyone no i had zero sex education uh -huh. and that hasn't changed at all even like young people today no sex except for porn they think that's education i'm like mm -hmm. no what you see in porn is fiction that has nothing to do with real life that so i help people you know figure it out you help people figure it out have better what, sex. What, what is um who comes to you more men or women 50 50 wow i know right because when i started the show and i was naive like 14 years ago they were like well, who's your audience? You know, when they ask you that always, uh -huh. like, who are you talking to? I'm like, everybody, because everybody has sex. And uh -huh. it turns out that it really is 50-50. So men and women are all trying to figure out, how do I get what I want in bed? How do I ask my partner what I want? Because no one, we're not taught how to have sex, but also not taught how to talk about sex. So we have so much shame around it that we don't even realize that we don't, we want our partners to read our minds and figure out what we want. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know how to ask for it. So without asking, without I help them, them kind of figure that out. How to communicate. Um, is it a cultural distinction in what people want or need or ask you? Like, do black men ask you something different from Asian men? Do no, I have okay. to tell you, I haven't noticed a difference. Okay. Because whether or not, it's mostly like, I mean, I can tell you the, like, the general questions we get asked is like, it's either like, I want sex more than my partner does. Okay. There's always a mismatched sex drive thing going on. And there's a lot of women who like aren't having orgasms so i try to sort that out not, men who penis not. challenges all around uh -huh. yeah what, what is a, a penis challenge i don't know is like a hashtag yeah i don't know <laughs> right the penis challenge what, what valentine's day <laughs> um no like it's it doesn't stay hard it's too hard too soft they come before they want to they can't come at all they're afraid that their penis is not you know Mm -hmm. okay. You know, not measuring up. Not satisfactory. Not satisfactory. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of it is about like how do we, how do we talk about it? How do I get what I want in bed? How do I get my partner to do this? Why is it my partner doing that? We expect them to be mind readers, and they're now, not. How do you know the answers though? I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I started. I mean, I've had done. I've done three thousand podcast five five thousand podcasts in fourteen years. I used to have a. Do it five days a week in San Francisco. I was on a radio show. I mean, I've been doing it a long, I've read every book, I have a doctorate. And I know, like, and that's what the coolest thing about being in Sirius XM is people can call in. Our lines are locked every night. Okay. Because there aren't people, they don't have a place for people to go and they call in. And I can pretty much in like one phone call help them figure out the next, at least the next right step. Like, I'm not going to solve all your childhood issues and why, because a lot of things goes back to all of our issues, whatever happened in the past. But I can help them figure out the next right thing to do. To move it forward, give out it's your amazing. social. Give out your social media. It's at Sex with Emily everywhere. Sex um, with Emily, and also our website, sexwithemily.com, The podcast, and on Sirius XM, it's Sex with Emily. Twitter, Emily. all the things. We just had rapper Casanova here, and he was talking about how he likes to eat his girl's ass. Yes, and you know we've seen a cultural shift where a lot of men have been into that. What is the psychology around anal play when it doesn't have to do with the gay community? Okay, that is a great question. It's, it has to do with, it's more of a taboo. 
Mm-hmm. So anal is okay. If you t- look at the, the, the anal sex, the anal sex umbrella. I wanted to look. Do you guys busy. not usually? Do- <laughs> I'm not drinking water. I want to look busy. Tracy's like enough of these pleasantries. The Let's jump to anal. I met a guy like that once. I'm like, really anal before we make out? Wow. So listen, we jump right to. No, I didn't want to, but yeah. you know, people might. Mm-hmm. Anal sex is something that I think has been sort of taboo. Mm-hmm. It's different than the same hole that we're used to. And I think that's what it's about. And we're seeing it more in porn. So mm-hmm. I think everything that like happens in porn is kind of is adopted in culture. <laughs> it's a trickle down effect. Exactly. For you know, for you know, I don't think that's amazing. I think that when people are learning about how to have sex through porn, you know, it's like it's like learning how to drive by watching like Fast and Furious. It's like, no, oh. this is not real life. But anal, you know. Anal play is 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 can be really hot. There's a lot of nerve endings back there, and I and what I love is that a lot of straight men are like are realizing too that it feels good for them. Like it's okay if you want someone to play with it because it doesn't make you gay. Like there's no sex act that you participate in that's going to change your orientation. Doctor Emily, I've been trying to tell the gentleman in this room this for the longest time. We all have the same ass. Hole. Yeah, but men are lucky because they have a prostate, and the prostate is like the male G spot, mm-hmm. and you can have an orgasm that would blow your fucking mind. If what? If <laughs> if you, if I gave you this prostate toy, or you had a partner put their finger in, yeah, felt amazing. I don't know. I don't have one. I mean, it can feel okay. good for women. We can have orgasms as well. Do you guys talk about this stuff usually? Yeah, we talk about we it all the time. Some. Look at the faces on the men in the room. Can you I tell? know. It's <laughs> you know what? Yeah, this is an everyday conversation <laughs> but for us. I, we call it 2017 the year of anal licking on our podcast because yeah. it was like, it must be the year of anal Because everyone was like, I want to eat ass. I want to eat ass. What's that about? I'm like, no one was asking me this in 2016. Right. So there's try- no, you're right to say it. it's like, it's a thing. And I have to think, well, why else would it happen? Because I think in porn. Yeah. I mean, that's what how can saying. a woman bring that up? Because you see how a lot of men cringe when they hear. Hear about she's really focused on yeah. eating ass. Well, it's a part she just said. It's, a, it's a time. Yeah, you guys are late to the game. So Every come on. Every man in here watches porn and they see an option to just strictly view anal play. Yeah, anal. Yeah, right. Strip. Go right to the anal. But right. how can a woman bring this up to her man? That she and make wants it, or that she wants to do it to him. To him. That she wants to do it to him. Yeah. She says something outside the bedroom. Do not talk about sex in the bedroom. So sex is a great oh. place for sleeping and for sex. Of course, if you're in pain. Or you need something a little to the left or the right, you can talk about that. Give okay. directions. Yeah. You can say, oh, you talk about Dr. Like, give me an example say of that. It's give great. Me an example like, of that. oh, babe, that feels so good. If you could just move over a little to the left with your tongue. Is that your sex voice? <laughs> hey, baby. It feels so good. Could you just maybe move your tongue just a little over? Mm-hmm. <laughs> talk to you about okay, sex. Oh, shoot. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so, yeah, it's my sex Holla. voice. Let's open up the phone. You wanted to come in and on then, this conversation? Wait, I want to wait. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. I didn't finish the, the oh, okay, thing. I thought okay, the okay. better. You can open it up. But so uh, here's the. This is what I got to tell you. You can open it up. When you <laughs> have the set, open it up. About. That's what we Don't do about. the back door. Hello. You got to tell. So it's like, babe, I've been thinking about our sex life. It's so hot, and I've had this fantasy lately. I've been thinking it'd be so hot to eat your ass. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Would that be? I mean, I think it would turn me on so much. Mm. So next time, maybe I'll just start with my finger. I'll just start licking. Is that something you'd be into? Mm, and he's like, yeah. You. And then you go, and then he knows it's gonna happen. So he's all of a sudden, what's her face doing in my ass? Because then you're like talked about it ahead of time. Can can I make a suggestion? Because <laughs> most guys, let's say if if it's a guy that never got his ass, <laughs> whatever. Tracy, I don't think you should say, "Hey, I would like to eat your ass." <laughs> I think you should say, okay. "You into but your anal, yeah." Yeah, you I'd might want to be a little more ass. eloquent. You're right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. would say, "I just kind of use her language," but you're right. If yeah, I was yeah. typically saying, I'd say, "You know what? I think it'd be hot to to play with like to play with your ass. It's something you'd be into." <laughs> she still said, <laughs> "Why is that not bad?" Okay, eating ass might be too aggressive. Are you interested in anal play? I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Outside the bedroom, in a way that's like using it. Of, will you let me do that? Is more like you lead with. How it would make you, you feel? Exactly. I okay. think it would be so hot and just a turn on. Yeah. Is that something you'd be interested in? You just make it your own. Okay, Jonathan is on the line <laughs> for Louisiana. John- by the way, uh, guys, load up the phone lines eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Emily Morris is here. Sex with Emily. I'm saying your last name correctly, right? Yes. Okay, Sex with Emily. Morris. Is, uh, it's on channel 109, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern on Sirius XM. Obviously, she'll answer any of your questions. <laughs> so, so go shoot them. Don't even, you know, you ain't even got a PC, this one right here. You can talk about kiss licking ass. We jumped right to anal, yeah. I mean, yeah, tongue on. and putting tongues in the, Okay. Um, Jonathan, good morning. He's in Louisiana. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. And yourself? I'm great. I'm, you know, learning here. What, what do you, what, what, what kind of, you want to add to the conversation? Man, I, I just wanted to say to all those guys out there who are afraid to, you know, get some ass played by your girl. I mean, y'all should try it. 
I mean, I was against it, but when my girl started, you know, messing with it little by little, I like it, you know? What'd you like about it? How'd it feel? I mean, it feels good. It's just a new feeling, a new satisfaction, especially when you're about to come and she it's kind of, you know, sticks her, little, her, sticks her finger in there. It gives a little bit more pleasure than usually, you know? Yeah, that's what I hear. That's I don't have real. a prostate, but I wish I did because I hear it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I was always against it because I was always those type of guys who thought it was kind of gay. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what everyone thinks. Yeah. Yeah. But I so, mean, so, once so, it's, so, it, 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 it's like they say, you know, once you go black, you never go back. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. Yeah. Once, yeah. once you go you finger, go you'll never linger? Yeah, it can just be a finger, <laughs> right. What the hell? <laughs> hey Jonathan, thanks for being transparent. Yeah. Uh-huh. By the way, there's a lot of men who are calling about yeah, this right good. now. Let's, let's be real. Alex, you guys are all gonna have a good Valentine's Day. Al- yeah. Alex is Chicago. You, you, you. Yo, what up? Talk to me, no man. Passion. Hey, Alex. Look, look, man. I they started out with you know some fellatio. Just give me a little head. Start rubbing, going lower. The so next thing I know, I mean, she there was a finger in there, and and I was. I was busting buckets, man. Like the whole thing, I was against it at Bust first. You talk about it for real. It smell like shit like, back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Hey, look, no, nah, man. It was uh, it was some, it was some weird at first, and I didn't talk about it for a couple of days. And I asked my boy, and he's like, "Yeah, I, I get it done, but See? don't tell nobody." And so it was like a secret. Yo, he said busting buckets. Well, let me ask you the flip what? side of it. Thank you, Alex, for busting buckets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you enjoy doing it? Do I enjoy do, me personally? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of women who do enjoy doing it, and men who enjoy doing it. So personally, what? I know how to. I haven't. Yeah, it's okay. Lube. Use some lube on your finger. I'm just thinking. Shower first. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking. I know you're thinking. Uh, I'm prep. thinking. Hair, you don't do it after you have a heavy dude, meal. Dingleberry. You don't want to do yeah. it after you went out for like a ten course meal. Yeah. You want to make sure you. I'm saying you got to shower. Yeah. Heather's face. <laughs> what was that, Heather? What you say? <laughs> Nothing. Heather don't want no parts <laughs> of this. Guy. Here's the thing. Yeah. I mean, well, well, about, what about other questions related? I'm good. Yeah. I'm, I'm here as a student. You I'm just. Learning? I'm just listening. Okay. I'm, yeah. I, I have a question. Because, uh, back back to porn. To get off the yeah, fingers yeah. and the ass. But Chris Rock did his last comedy special where he talked about it was a big cause in what made him cheat on his wife because he would watch porn yeah. and it would create this fantasy of what kind of woman he wanted. Right. And then a lot of guys say like when you start watching too much porn. Yep. It fucks up your actual it does. sex life. It absolutely does. I think that I think that that is the problem with porn. I mean, I see the benefits of porn for sure. We're gonna get turned on, aroused. Great couples can watch it together. You get some ideas. But the problem with porn is that there's so many. First of all, there's a lot of guys who that's the first sex they've ever seen, right? right. Like they grew up and then they're like, oh, well, this is technically how I'm supposed to have yeah. sex. And then you keep watching porn and then you have to keep raising the bar to get aroused, right? Mm-hmm. And it's something that's a little more kinkier, a little more out there. Mm-hmm. And then it's really hard to go back and have sex with your partner after that. You're like, nothing mm-hmm. is as attractive as this and I can control it. I can stay home. I don't have to do anything. And that's dangerous. Mm-hmm. So it's not that hard to get out of it. You just have to, it's kind of like quitting everything, anything. You just kind of either you scale back or you're like, I'm just going to go old school and I'm not going to watch it and I'm going to try to just masturbate using my imagination or I'll start with porn and then I'll turn it off. I mean, you got to moderate it but because you, you have to rewire your brain again because now it, the synapses in your brain get into this groove and that's what's attractive to you. So uh-huh. you just got to cut back. I mean, I, I like cold turkey. You like cold turkey? You got to do a cold turkey. Cold turkey, Kev. You'll be fine, you guys. Your penis works. You're getting aroused again. Attract Real humans. <laughs> They're still tripping on the ass. Thing, I know. Though. I'm okay. trying to get. Seriously. I'm trying to rewire okay. my brain okay. off of that. Kevin is on the line from South Carolina. Kev, say hello to Emily. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. What's going on, Emily? Good hey. morning, everybody, Good morning. and happy Valentine's to all the ladies. Happy Valentine's. Okay. Man, I, I, I have that tried on me before. You know, she tried to, you know, stick her finger up my butt after giving. <laughs> I, I didn't like that whatsoever. I didn't feel that. Uh, that no connection. Like that's, you know, you don't play with that area back there. You leave that alone. I just right. don't. I just don't get it. Like I mean, I, hey, whatever for everybody, but that's not for me. But uh, okay, that's fair. Mm-hmm. That's fair, Kev. It could also be the way she did it because sometimes it can be a shock. Yeah. So you got to be like yeah. touch it and then use some lube. You guys, lube is. I my don't dream like when a dog is sticking his finger oh. in my butt. I got I you. I'm like not trying to. I'm not talking <laughs> you into it. I, I think you're out. 
it's co- it's okay. Kev, it's cool, man. Kev, you good? <laughs> We're fine. Kev, no pressure. Me and you will just go get a drink somewhere. You know what I mean? No prostate well, 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 they go do what they do, Kev, all right? You're a citizen, man. Train in the morning. All right. Uh, oh, my God. Wow, let me take another one. I, 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 I want women to call who do this, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> We're back to that. You know, uh, or... Who women eat, to call with who questions. eat men but nah well whatever whatever question a woman has it's, it's just <laughs> nothing but men asses today All men right. are doing it too DJ P from uh, Maryland what up DJ P DJ P hey what's going on family how are you man hey man I'm blessed I woke up breathing today the rest is a bonus yeah. I hear that one I hear that one yeah. so my situation bro so this whole ass ass eating shit I, I've been getting a lot of um bad vibes from a lot of my people, a lot of my friends, you can say when I tell them, right? So I had this shorty. I knew nothing about ass eating. I never did it before. She did it to me. But it just so happened, like, it, like I was going, I was getting it popping. I was going down to her, doing my thing, and then she was like, my turn. I thought she was going to top me off. <laughs> she threw me out. She, uh, I, I laid on the bat, laid on the bat on my back. She got on top of me like she was about to top me off, but then she pushed my love back. So I'm like, all right, she's more experienced, so... She probably teaching me something new. <laughs> but, it just so happened that, you know, I shaved. It just so happened that I shaved back there, but I felt the tongue going back. I'm like, hold on, what's going on? <laughs> so I asked her what she wants. She said, just relax. <laughs> she like, yo, just relax. Wait. I'm like, relax? But it's hard to relax because I've never had no interactions back there. And she... <laughs> I lay back and she started, but it started feeling good. I'm like, hold on, hold on, what, what's the, hold on, what's the shit that everyone's talking about is gay back there for someone to do that to you? Nah, that felt kind of good, but hey, keep doing that, shorty, keep doing that. So to make a long story short, <laughs> that became a routine thing for me, you know what I mean? She kept doing it on the regular. <laughs> yeah, I like laughed. But it could even be licking, right? It doesn't have to be insertion. You could just lick it. There's like a lot of nerve endings outside, too. See, it's not even internal. Do you, so you don't listen. Li- okay, thank you, DJP. <laughs> what else about sex can we talk about? Oh my God! Like, how, to... how does a person who um, been married for a, a long period Great of time? Great question. This is the this, keep it interesting. Keep okay. So how? Yeah, how do they keep it interesting? Sorry, you're gonna ask. You've been asked this a thousand times. I don't yeah. even have to ask you. Yeah, that's the that's top the question question I get asked. Is how how the it? hell we've been together for 10, 20 years. It could be over two years because typically it's great in the beginning, right? First two years in a relationship, sex is great. And then you're like, oh, how do we spice it up? Mm. How do we keep it interesting? And the first thing I always say is, and I, is communication is a lubrication. The more that you actually talk to your partner about sex and what you're into, the better sex you're going to have. Because what happens with couples is they, is that they've they've never ever talked about it, sex ever. Many couples, and they don't actually even know what they like or what they're into. And so you just really have a conversation. You say, you know what? I think it would be really hot to just to to. But well, here's the thing: I think trying one thing different makes all the difference. You could just add lube. If you've never used lube, lube is a game changer. Hmm. Whether you're wet, dry, it doesn't matter. Women, Indiana University did a study that 80% of women were more likely to orgasm when you add a few drops of lube. It could be a sex toy. It could be exchanging bucket lists. Like, what are three things you want to try? Here's three things I want to try. Let's swap lists. It could be having sex outside the bedroom. Get a hotel room for the night. And that might all sound like, oh, really? But we've got to... No, it's a change. If you're always having sex, staring at the same ceiling in the bedroom, the pile of laundry and your kids, you're <laughs> not going to have... A, really, you're not going to have hot... That's not hot that's after not, a while. Yeah. So it's really... And then you talk about it, and then it becomes your thing together mm. that we want to try some stuff. Okay, you want to have sex outside. You want to... Be a voyeur. You uh-huh. want to be tied up? Great. I didn't know that. And then you got that spark again. What and about? You keep it going. Emily Morris is here. You can find her with Sex with Emily on Monday through Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. on Sirius XM Channel 109. What about if someone's like long standing fantasy is a threesome? Like that's all they've wanted in their bucket list. Yep. But their partner is uncomfortable. What happens then? Well, that's the kind of thing that you talk about. So you can't talk your partner into having a threesome. Everyone's like, how can I get my girl to have a threesome? I always get this kind of like, you're not going to get. That that's not gonna and women want it too. Like the number one fantasy for men and women is to have a threesome. So how you negotiate that is it's again outside the bedroom and you don't just lay it down. Like is this like for example, if a guy I'm talking about heterosexual relationships. Guy says to his girlfriend, "Hey babe, I think a threesome would be really hot." 
she's thinking, oh, so you want, which one of my friends do you want to bang? Or who is it? Or who do you have in mind? It's not the way to spice it up. Mm -hmm. The way you should have a threesome is if you're in really solid ground in a relationship and everything's great, and hopefully your partner, she's interested, and maybe she would be interested in having a threesome or hooking up with someone. So how you bring it up is like, have you have when you have this conversation about let's talk about our fantasies and things we're into, and then maybe says I w- I want a threesome and she's like because a lot of times we just say no to things that scare us uh-huh. right we're like nope I would never do that well have you ever thought about being with a woman and then maybe she's like, oh, you know I think that'd be kind of hot one time to try it well maybe we could watch some porn this is where porn's good mm. well, why don't we watch some porn threesome together and then like let's see how if that's hot to you we could start dirty talking that like porn it's actually happening uh-huh. and then see if they come around but if they're not into it at all case closed you're not gonna it's not going to happen for you. Right. But you don't want to just say, let's have a threesome because they're going to say no. And it's definitely not a way to spice up your sex life. Because if things are bad or things are, if you're on rocky ground, it's not going to help it. It's going to hurt it. Right. Emily, Sex with That's Emily. Good. You can find her at Sex with Emily on social media. We got a lady. Ooh. Yeah. Chrissy's on the line from Georgia. What up, Chrissy? Good what night. up, Chrissy? Hi, how are you guys? Hey. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. You yep, too, yep. boo so. um, I try to, I try to see... I tried to stick my thing in my friend at home. He didn't like it. He said that was nasty. <laughs> well, well, how did you do it? Did you just slam it in there? or did, I mean, did you tickle him? Or, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> what did you do? No, I, I did it slowly. Hmm. Okay. Did he know it was slowly, coming? He didn't like it. Did he? Okay. All right. It's not for everybody. Today's my birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Chrissy. What a switch. Okay, okay. So, did, so, okay. Did he say what he didn't like? But you ain't even got to tell me what he didn't like about it's okay. it. Okay. So, that's, so, it's not for everybody. No, no right. nothing is for everyone. Exactly. That's okay. This is the thing about sex and about my show. A lot of it is that, like, everyone wants to know if I'm normal. Is it okay that I want this? And if anything, the most normal thing about sex is that we're all going to want different things, that our sex drive is going to change over time and what we like. And so, it's just. It's, and the most normal thing is that we don't actually talk about it enough. But that, there's not one sex act that's for everybody. There's no sex police that's going to be like, you're not having sex enough. You're not doing it right. You're in a relationship with someone. You get to decide what kind of sex you want to have. And it's no one else's business. Unless okay. you call into the show and we talk about it. We're talking about her now with Ada. So who's change from, your name. Ada is from South San Antonio. Ooh, what up, Ada? What up, Ada? What's up? What's Hello. Up? Hey, baby girl. You've been wanting to talk about this, huh? <laughs> I have, I have. This is the first time I was like, I have to call in yeah. because this is too much. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on this? So um, as she was saying, as Emily was saying, this is something that should be discussed with your partners, um, you know, cold-heartedly. Um, that way you guys can both be comfortable with what you guys like. Um, but, yeah, my husband, um, he likes for me to play with his anal. I like to play with his anal. I enjoy both of us eating each other's eyes. I mean, we're just, <laughs> we're very open with each other. And um, no, my husband is not gay. I would never question it. So okay. All right. yeah, I really yeah. think it's just about that communication. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Communication yeah. makes everything hotter. It really does. In a really authentic, real way, without mm-hmm. shaming and blaming your partner. Like, that's how you take the sex life to the next level. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you're married. Right. So, you know. You know. Yeah. Plus, you're married. If yeah. You if you're no... married, why are you got to talk about it? You yeah. want it to work, right? Especially if you ain't got no right. food in the house. You can just eat each other's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ada, you a citizen? <laughs> no budget grocery. Sorry, Ada. I like it, Ada. Ada liked it. I don't know. Well, I guess Emily, you're gonna have to stop back by the show another I would time. I love in the future, it. Huh? Thanks for Emily having me, Emily Morris. Guys. You do great work. Thank you. Absolutely. Follow her at Sex with Emily. Um, you can find her Monday through Friday, eight to ten p.m. Um, <clears throat> on Sirius XM channel one hundred and nine. Uh, and give her sh- give her a shot when you you know as you're listening to Heather B mm-hmm. on Fly. Yep, yeah. from six to midnight, channel forty seven. You Perfect. know when yep. you, you take a quick break every now and then. Go <laughs> shoot over, yeah. Shout shout out, um, uh, yeah, we shoot each, shot each other out. Yeah, cool. And then also me and Emily, we did a serious XM special with yeah. Pete Dominic called Love Fest. That so was anyone, fun. Yeah, everyone can listen back to that on demand as well. Yeah. on um on Insight one twenty one. Okay, Emily, enjoy your okay. Valentine's Thank Day. Thank you. What's your Happy plan? Valentine's Day. Thanks somebody, for having me. Somebody going to... Um... Uh, I got my show till 10, and then I'm going out with my producer. Okay, so... We're going to go find some trouble. Good for y'all. Okay. <laughs> um, up next, we got Celebrity Wire. Yes, Jesse Smollett did his first TV interview. I'll let you know what he said. Shape 4-5. <laughs>